Hi friends, it's Miss Eliza, Children's Librarian at the Waukee Public Library. And for this week's Elementary Maker Monday, we're celebrating inventors. And today we're going to make a DIY version of something that we see all the time. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> the three-way traffic light. So the three-way traffic light was invented in 1922 by Garrett Morgan. And you can imagine this was super helpful because until you had the traffic lights, you had some stops, you know, stop signs, um, but it was really difficult as cars started to be able to move faster and there were more and more of them on the road. You really didn't want to have to be stopping at every single intersection and you needed some warning um, to be able to slow down and come to a stop, which is why we had the yellow. So it's a super important invention that we see all the time. So we're going to make our own little version <laughs> Um, just using some really simple supplies. So what you're gonna need for this project is a piece of black construction paper and you'll just need one piece, but don't get rid of any scraps because we're gonna use most of the pieces of it even when we cut it. Then you're gonna need little pieces of paper in the colors of the traffic light. Um, these are the colors that we used. You could maybe imagine um, a different type of community that had a different type of color in their traffic lights. Maybe unicorns have a teal and purple and pink traffic lights, I don't know. So these are the ones that we use. We're gonna use these because these were Garrett Morgan's colors, but you can be creative um, depending on what you wanna do with your traffic light when we're done. Um, and then you're gonna need a glue stick and some tape, and you can kind of just try and see what works better. Um, I've tried it with both things and they both kind of work, but um, depending on um, what works best for you, you can kind of pick and choose, they're interchangeable. You're gonna need a pair of scissors, you're gonna need a stick, and that's what you'll use to turn it. So it can be like a craft stick like this or any kind of stick or any, like a straw even would work. And then you're gonna need a cardboard tube. All right, so I've got my tube here and mine happens to be colored white, but it can be any cardboard tube. Um, and as you lay it along the edge of the paper, you can maybe tape it down um, and then you might actually use a pencil or a marker. I did not bring one in here today, but that might be helpful just because you wanna mark where this ends. Cause again, remember we wanna use our paper, but we don't want to um, get rid of any of the extra pieces cause we're gonna use them all to make um, the box around this. So you really only want to cut out enough that it goes right to the top and the end and can wrap all the way around. So I don't have a pen, so I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it but you could definitely mark it down and you're just going to roll it until your tube is covered and leave a little tiny bit extra so that you can tape that down okay so then you're going to have tape on both sides kind of holding that black part and you could also use glue here again just whatever works best for you whatever you have on hand another little piece so that flaps not flapping okay so then we're going to make the um box casing so this is actually two parts we've got this on one on the stick and then we've got the casing part so for this we're going to be using paper to construct a cube which is actually kind of an interesting geometry so how many sides do we have on our cube Let's start with this side that's got the circles cut out. So one, two, three, four, and now we're back at the circles, right? So cutting a piece of paper into fourths, pretty simple, not a big deal, um, but we have to attach it, right? So if you only have four corners, then the corners would have to meet exactly, and then we'd have to somehow get the corner pieces to hold in there to stay that shape, and like, I don't really know how we would do that exactly. So we're gonna make this into five pieces because then the fifth part can be a little flap that we can use to glue. So this side is actually doubled up. So we're gonna fold our paper into five equal bits to make our four sided cube, which is a little strange, but you're gonna cut the um, flap off here. And again, hang on to that because we're gonna need that later. 
Okay, so we've got our piece of paper and I already ignore the folds that are in this. I already folded this once before I did the example for the video. So you can ignore the little folds, but an easy way, you could certainly measure this so that it's into fifths, but an easy way to do it is also to take the tube that you just did, because obviously we want the um, case to be big enough to fit the tube inside. So you can kind of use this to measure. So you can mark down the edge. Again, it is helpful to have a pen or a pencil. So you can mark down the edge. Okay, so one end of the tube goes to about here. So I've made a mark and then two and then three and then four and then five. So now we can kind of fold along where those dots are and we're gonna have a little bit of an extra piece so we can trim the end off and then we'll fold right along all of the lines and you could draw the lines out. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it because it doesn't have to be super exact. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five panels. And we're gonna go to the second panel in from the left. So we've got one panel, we're gonna leave that one. And then in the second panel, that second little part, you're gonna find something that's circular. So this, if we drew circles that were as big as the tube, then it would almost take up the entire pane because that's what we use to measure the tube. So we're going to take something littler. So I'm going to use the end of my glue stick and I'm just going to push this down on the ground or on the pane. And then you're going to just trace around three circles in a vertical row, just like you do um, or just like you see on a traffic light. So this is gonna be a little bit small, so I'm gonna draw a little bit wide around them. Again, it doesn't have to be super precise. You just, these are gonna be the openings where you see the traffic light colors. So you just wanna make three in a vertical line, pretty evenly spaced, and then you're gonna cut them out. So an easy way to start a circular cut is to fold your paper so that the middle of the circle that you drew I don't know if you can see, but it, so that the middle of the circle that you drew is kind of on the fold, and then you can make a tiny cut right where the fold is, use that to stick your scissors in, and then carefully cut around. So I'm gonna cut out these three circles on this second pane. So now we've got this second column that's got our three little dots and now we're going to connect it so that it makes that uh, cube shape. So you're just going to go along the fold and if you do it once you'll kind of see where it needs to fall. So the very last one and the very first one are going to be the ones that line up together to make that double side. So you can see where those are and you know you need to put glue on the very first one on the inside. So I'm going to cover that in glue and you could use any kind of glue here, but glue stick is going to dry pretty fast. So that's what I'm using today for the video. And then you'll kind of fold it back up and make that panel line up with the panel behind it. Excellent. Now we've got our little cube and we could put our tube through it, but it's just gonna come right out. So we're gonna wanna make a top for this as well. So remember those little scraps of paper that we had earlier that we were saving? Um, so this part, you're just gonna have to do a little bit kind of by sight, depending on how yours um, is and the exact proportions of it. But you're gonna basically use this and then tape, fold it and then tape either side down so that it's covering the top. So I'm just gonna start by taping down one side here and then make a little fold for the top, stretch it across, and then where the other side falls, make another little fold just so that it falls easily. And you can trim that because you don't need a whole bunch of extra on the side. And then you can put another piece of tape to secure it. Excellent, all right, so now we've got our case, we've got a little bit of a lid on it, and we've got this, and so what are we missing? The actual lights, right? So there's a couple different ways that you can do this. You could actually measure out the little circles and put those right on your tube. 
but that's kind of a lot of measuring and I don't know if I really want to do that much measuring. So I'm going to just tape them or glue them, whichever works better for you. We're gonna do that just kind of in thirds. So if you notice the length of the tube, you want each piece to cover a little piece of it, but then not overlap with the other colors because if it does, then you're gonna see multiple colors at once. So if I put the red and yellow lined up together, then when they go into the tube, then they both show at the same time, which doesn't help you at all. If you're trying to drive, you don't know what to do. So you want them to be staggered. So I'm gonna cut, and if you got a pack from the library, they're gonna be about this size, so you will need to trim them down a little bit. So I'm gonna cut, and we're gonna start with red on the bottom because that's what the colors go, red and then yellow and then green is at the top. Um, so we're gonna start and I'm just gonna cut a little bit of a square. And again, you could measure to make sure that they're exact thirds, but I'm just gonna do it um, kind of by sight and just hope that it lines up okay. We'll see at the end. Um, so we'll glue on our red piece at the bottom. And then right where the red piece stops on the side, that's where we're gonna line up the yellow piece. So again, I'm gonna trim that down and we've given you plenty of the color just depending on the size of the circles that you cut out um, or maybe you make a mistake and you need a little bit of extra so you've got multiples of the colors. So right where the red one ends is where we have the yellow one beginning and then we're gonna do the same thing with the green up at the top. So now we've got our red and our yellow and our green means go. So if you put them in, you can see that it does in fact fit. And we can't really move it though. It's just gonna be stuck on green means go forever. So to be able to move it, we're gonna add a little stick. And again, you could do this with anything that you've got on hand, but you're gonna wanna tape it to the inside of the tube so that you don't see it coming through the little circles that you drew with the lights. So um, one way to do this is to just attach a piece of tape to the end of it then slide it in carefully, wiggling it so that the sticky part of the tape is touching the inside of the tube and then press it down so that it stays. And you could use a stronger tape too. You might need to do a couple different pieces of tape um, if you have a big um, craft stick like this one. So now we should be able to plop it into our case and we've got our little light. So green means go, red means stop and Yellow means slow down and we've got, it looks like as we move them, I'm holding it upright so it's going a little bit wonky, but we can see all the three different colors. So um, this is a cool project to do if you have like um, a Lego city that you've built, you might want to use it um, in that or like a car city that you've built. You can have like a stop and go lights like that. Um, I've also seen these used in games like Simon Says. Um, and so you can do like a freeze game and just, um, you know, everybody's running or you're in a pose or whatever, and then you have to watch and then when it turns red, then you stop. Um, so you can do a lot of different things with this. If you are good with robotics, it would be a really cool thing to get on a little, um, sort of pivot so you could have some kind of little motor that you could control that would turn it, but that's a little bit beyond what we have time to do in this video. So we're really just celebrating Garrett Morgan's invention of the three-way traffic light. I hope that you have fun with this project and let us know if you do something cool with it. Thanks, we'll see you next week.